Queen Bible Story Hour debuts November 30th with Dragvina Scriptura. The Sunshine Cathedral is a different kind of church, where the past is the past and the future has infinite possibilities. Rooted in the Christian tradition and the gay rights movement, this is an inclusive church for all kinds of people. Reverend of the Church, Dr. Durrell Watkins says, quote, we are a community committed to learning, to growing, to loving, to sharing. We affirm that each of us is a divine child of God, intrinsically good and blessed to be a blessing to our world. Needless to say, this church has decided to perform Drag Queen Bible Story Hour as a sign of protest against Florida's Governor DeSantis. Reverend Dr. Durrell Watkins will do four special programs on November 30th, December 7th, 14th, and 21st for the Advent and Christmas holidays. Bible literacy, fun, and making a statement in support of the art of drag, the drag community, and the wholesomeness of Drag Story Hour have motivated this unique idea. The pastor said the content will be crafted focusing on the adult audience. However, children will be welcomed, of course. The pastor promises to make a genuine effort to be a glamorous queen, but says not to expect Bianca Del Rio or Jinx, or Jinx Fonsu. The Reverend Doctor will adopt a new persona named Drag Vina Scriptura for the Drag Queen Bible Story Hour. And I have already pulled some dresses and I got some wigs ready for Drag Vina because you've lost so much weight, you finally fit into my clothes. That's We're great. The We're, yeah. We're the same size. We, we are very happy to, I've never, I've never, wait, this is a world premiere introduction. <laughs> Reverend Dr. Dragvina Scriptura. <laughs> uh, Reverend Dr. Jarrell Watkins, the senior minister at Sunshine Cathedral. Welcome to Queer News Tonight. Um, when I first read about this, I thought, wait, I'm being punked. This is not happening. And then somebody said, no, 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 it's really happening. Then next, I heard you were doing this for Advent and being a long time since like five years old Southern Baptist, I did not know what Advent was. Horrifying, I did not know. So tell us about uh, Advent and, and what Sunshine Cathedral is doing. And most important of all, what Reverend Dr. Uh, Reverend Dr. Durrell. No. Well, oh no, Dragvina Scriptura. Dragvina Scriptura. We're working on some sound issues here in this live event. Uh, Hi. <laughs> so uh, tell us uh, a little bit about what you're doing. Well, Advent actually begins the Christian year. Uh, it, it, uh, Advent means uh, something's coming, it's waiting. So it's what precedes Christmas. Just waiting for, for Jesus. And so, so it's a big, uh, it's a big exciting way to kick off the year every year, and it has been for uh, uh, most of Christian history. And so um, I needed a series. I wanted to do a, a Bible series to kick off Advent. And because uh, of the topic about the drag story hour, um, I thought, well, that's it. I'm going to do, I'm going to do Bible stories, but it's going to be drag uh, Bible story hour. Yes, uh, Reverend. Has there ever been a drag queen? You know, I have some experience with RuPaul, mm -hmm. and I can't remember anyone in the 140 versions of RuPaul's Drag Race, by the way, uh, that has Reverend Doctor before their name. Is there Silky, any? Silky Ganache. Silky Ganache. Silky Ganache. Silky Ganache. Yes. Yeah. Now, Reverend Doctor, Sunshine Cathedral was vandalized a couple of months ago. We reported it on Twitter News mm -hmm. tonight. Was this part, is this, is that part of the protest? Is this why you decided to do something like that? No, those kinds of things happen and we respond to them in the moment. This is more about the political environment. This is more about uh, LGBTQ individuals and their families being dehumanized, demonized, and demoralized. Yeah. So this is, if you're saying that it is somehow obscene to read stories to children, oh, I got stories for you. Yeah. And so we are going to have Bible stories. Uh, oh, I got your story. Yeah, I got stories for you. And uh, we're going to be celebrating our, our history and our community and our diversity. And you'll be surprised to learn that there's drag in the Bible. Uh, and there's a lot of, they say that drag queens are sexualizing whatever. Uh, there's an entire book in the Bible about sex the Song of Songs. So I don't know if I'm going to be talking about Esther, which is where the drag queens play a prominent role in making Queen Esther who she is, or if I'm going to be talking about the Song of Songs, which is all about sex. I will be doing one or both of those, though, for Advent. Now, and let me make sure that I'm clear in terms uh -huh. of what you're doing. You're going to do these Bible stories and, and the interaction in terms of uh, the lead up to the celebration of the of Christmas, Christmas holiday. Yes. 
and actually physically be in drag. You're I, going to be in makeup. I'm going to be in character. I'm going to be uh, in full. I'm going to beat my face. I'm going to. I'm going to. My hair is going to be high up to Jesus. I'm doing it all. Uh, I'm taking <laughs> the higher the, the hair, the closer to Jesus. I'm, right? I'm taking yeah. the drag seriously, and I'm taking the scripture seriously. My doctorate degree uh, and my and my master's degree is in theology and the arts. I blend these things naturally, and I'm going to do it uh, to kick off the new Christian year. You know, I've known I've known Bianca for over 30 years. I've known Bianca that long, and and Bianca would be so thrilled when you uh, basically <laughs> said you could not be as glamorous as Bianca <laughs> Rio because no one's ever said Bianca is glamorous. So. I couldn't tell if you were lowering the bar or you were complimenting hey, Bianca what, Del Rio. Hey, competition to Dragmina. She's pretty glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's polished. So you win, baby. She's polished. So you're going to be completely from start to finish coming out. Uh, you're going to do the whole yes. program at drag. I am. And there is that camp aesthetic, but the Bible study is legit. You're going to learn stuff. Yeah. Okay. And, 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 and this is going to start November 30th. Yes. And then you're going to do it every week, uh, December 7th, 14th, and 21st. And, 21st. and then yeah. the 24th is Christmas Eve. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got a, we've got a season. Wow, this is going to be quite a month uh, for Sunshine Cathedral. I'm very excited. I want to do this for LGBTQ families. I want to do this for our ancestors. I want to do it for our heroes. And I want to do it really as uh, as resistance to all of the, politi uh, all the political uh, tribulation that's being directed at the queer community. I want to, this is us talking back and doing so from our faith position. You know, and, and let's let's dive into that for a moment. Uh, we're here in the final campaign event of the major candidates uh, running in Florida against who you're talking about, Ron DeSantis, governor, uh, going to try to run for president, uh, and uh, Marco Rubio. And they've made such a thing, the, the, uh, uh, the vice governor, uh, lieutenant governor rather, uh, the press secretary for Governor DeSantis has said the most hateful and incredibly painful things about the LGBTQ community, about drag queens, the R House situation. Uh, so we're at this political event. From your seat at Sunshine Cathedral, Sunshine is the largest queer church in the world. Tell us about your perspective of what you're watching uh, here in South Florida and in Florida and really all over America. From your perspective, what are you watching? Well, it's not just in the state, it's nationally. Women went to bed one night with rights, they woke up the next morning without one, with one fewer right. And they never stopped with one group. And so then shortly on the heels of this, you see another group being demonized, dehumanized, demoralized. We had a Supreme Court justice saying, oh yeah, marriage equality is next, we're coming for it. And now they, uh, the, the don't say gay bill in Florida, uh, the drag queen story hour, that by chipping away at the humanity of LGBTQ plus people, uh, we see where it's going. It's, it's already in motion, and so we have to speak up. And luckily, I have a, I have a mic, I have a pulpit, and so it would be immoral for me not to use those devices to push back. You know, I also want to ask you from uh, from the political and the moral perspective that you represent. Uh, we make the joke uh, about needing a psychiatrist on Wednesday. But we're also going to need our pastors. If 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 yeah. the handwriting on the wall is the handwriting on the wall, uh, what that comes from the book of Daniel, by the way. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, how uh, how how will people like you and Sunshine Cathedral? How are they going to help the LGBTQ community get through what's next, likely coming? Uh, because religion, at its best, always is a prophetic voice. And so not only can we be there to push back openly, but we can also provide community and, and solace internally. So yes, we're going to be speaking up and speaking out, and we're going to be saying, come, where you will be affirmed, where you will be celebrated, where, uh, where you will be known as God's miracle and not God's mistake. So it's a, it's a two-edged sword where we have to comfort those who have been hurt and also confront those who are doing the hurting. I want to give one other opportunity to the fact that uh, what comes after defeat. Um, it, when you're knocked to the ground, which might happen mm -hmm. in this election, uh, what would you say to the LGBTQ community that might feel demoralized uh, over what we've been watching and what's getting ready to happen? Uh, what, what's your advice? What, what do you say? Golgotha is real, but that 
following Golgotha is Easter, following Good Friday is Easter, following crucifixion is resurrection. Yeah, the bad stuff happens, but that's not the end of the story. That's the whole point of what we do is if the, if the worst happens, we are there. We're the phoenix that rises from the ashes and we keep going. I can't let uh, Greg Venus Scriptura <laughs> get away without asking you over the weekend, um, uh, I believe it was Hulu for the the Jerry uh, Falwell, forbid, yeah. yeah, God forbid, launched, and we've watched just an unbelievable documentary about Jerry Falwell and the hypocrisy that has gone on there for more than 40 years. Any thoughts about Liberty University and, and the religious community? Any thoughts about it? None that would sound kind, <laughs> but I will say they were very smart in playing a very long and strategic and uh, game. And uh, so I bet we've watched this happening over most of my life, really. And I won't live long enough to see it all undone, but they knew they were gonna live long enough to see it all done either. We've got to have that same commitment. We start today, we do, we play the long game. We may not see it. We may not make it to the promised land, but we have to help people get there after us. So we just keep going, we keep going. And for me, this is not a partisan issue. Party, who runs parties and blah, 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 that flips and flops, flips and flops. I'm against whoever is demoralizing LGBTQ plus people. It has to be one party now, could have been another party, might be another party. I, this isn't about party loyalty, this isn't party politics, this is human decency. And whoever is, is being cruel and oppressive to LGBTQ people, I'm gonna have something to say about it. Well, and having something to say about it is at Sunshine Cathedral, world's largest queer church. We're so lucky here in South Florida uh, you have a national and an international congregation and audience. How does LGBT and our allies help the Sunshine Cathedral? Tell us how to help. Uh, you can obviously just stand with us, tell people about us, watch us online, come if you're in town, worship with us. Uh, you can contribute to specific ministries or to the overall ministry. Uh, or you can just do what we do and try to do what's right. Just be a voice for justice and inclusion and goodness in the world. Uh, we need all of that we can get. Well, uh... If you need for me to beat your face, I will. I got you. <laughs> I, might, I might need you and Tito. Uh, I, I, I got wait, a team. This might have my team. entire life. I've never sat between two people that have been giving each other drag makeup tips. <laughs> I, 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 I want to get more drag makeup. I want to get it on this. But I just exactly. want to chime in and say... I'm new to the area. I have never met a pastor or reverend who does drag. I think it's amazing. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm also a trans person. I think what you're doing is great. I love your drag name. But in all seriousness, as a, like a trans person, I'm afraid to go to like Bible studies because I think that there's some judgment against it. But meeting someone like you and encourage all your pastor friends to do the same thing because that will really merge a lot of culture together and really help us and yeah. and just creating a better society. I think what you're doing is great. I would like to say a Bible story uh, that if we were to, of course you can't take these, they're stories, you can't take them literally. But if we were to literalize the creation myth, Eve is born from a man. So Eve is a woman, she must have a Y chromosome. The first woman on the planet, according to the story, is a trans woman. Ooh, so, wow. uh, so when you read the Bible through queer, queer lands, you see a lot of queerness in it. You know, and then, um, the LGBTQ plus community, there's such a huge void. We want to love religion. We want to go and feel yeah. accepted. But many religions, many churches don't. Sunshine Cathedral is not that place. You are, and you know, that sign outside many churches that said all are welcome. I usually give a middle finger to that because I know that all are not welcome. But Sunshine Cathedral is different. Yeah. You, I'll take you. We take can go me, together. Take we'll me. go I, together. I just moved here. I, I we'll want to I want to come. Invite we'll me. Go together. <laughs> well, you can't miss it. Uh, it, uh, you are going to see something very special. I did a lot of research to try to see if this was ever been done before. I could not find a single reference ever in the United States where there's been an ongoing program. I've never, I've honestly never heard of this and, before. And it's, it's great. One of the reasons why the South Florida LGBTQ community is so spectacular. So November 30th, December 7th, 14th and 21st. If you haven't looked into a different kind of church, Sunshine Cathedral is something that you should be looking at. We thank you very much. I was going to say thank you, Darrell, uh, uh, but no, no, no. Thank you, Reverend Dr. Dragvina Skaptura, for being with us tonight at Queer News Tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you.
LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.